Hi, welcome back to the uh, O-Ring Academy. This is Jack Thomason. I am a mechanical engineer. I've been in the seal business for, gosh, more than 30 years. Um, I pretty much know who's manufacturing what and who's doing what. And uh, I bring that information to you at the O-Ring Academy. So watch my videos and you'll find out all types of interesting facts to know about the different types of products and where you can purchase them from. Today let's look at again um, our program that I've been doing a series on sterilizer gaskets. Now this is a sterilizer gasket as well. It looks just like a white o-ring and in fact that's exactly what it is but it's used in a Midmark tabletop sterilizer. Uh, Midmark uh, purchase rider and you can see that this particular gasket, um, if you have a Midmark uh, older version, you can M7 is the code. And um, if you go to sterilizerdoorgaskets.com, you can just click on the tab for Midmark, and you'll see that I carry three sizes there. There's one for the M7, which is this one. It's a white, um, basically silicon O-ring. Or you can purchase the M9 for the M9 sterilizer or the M11, MD11, MD9, okay. So what you want to be careful with is to know uh, which size you have and when you go onto the website know that. So you, know, you want to be able to differentiate between the MD9 and the MD11. Now some other features that we have, uh, this just is sold as a single gasket, but if you're looking for the MD9 and then the M11, uh, you'll find that there's uh, several things, and depending on your how your um, tabletop sterilizer is configured, mostly you'll find a large diameter for the 9 and the 11. It's an orangish color um, gasket. Some gaskets will have a large diameter steel ring on the inside. You want to make sure that you do not throw that ring out when you remove it from your sterilizer because you will want to take that ring out and place it in this new gasket that you purchased from me and put it in your sterilizer. Uh, I, sell, I sell the gasket separately. I also uh, sell the dam that's sitting in the bottom. And you'll notice that uh, you can order this uh, separately or you can order it all together on my site. So sometimes you need to replace that dam and sometimes you don't. Uh, it's up to you, you, you know, it depends on how often you use your sterilizer and uh, if, it's, if it's still holding to pressure. That's the big problem with the sterilizers. Once you lose the pressure capability for your sterilizer, you're not going to sterilize your instruments. I recommend uh, every six months because I've seen what happens after you open and close the door several times a day, many, many times a day, over a period of time you do lose the um, ability to seal the chamber and that is absolutely critical for, uh, for your sterilization of your instruments. So um, I have three different sizes for the Midmark brand. Uh, that's a Midmark for the Midmark Rider, the M7, the Midmark um, 9, the MD9 as a complete gasket set with the dam or you can buy it separately and I also have for the Midmark um, MD11. So you want to make sure you know which one and which size you know, you may just look, your staff may just look and say Midmark and then just kind of click on it. That happens many times. So make sure you differentiate and know exactly what size you're ordering because that can save us all a lot of time. So today, you know, you can find those, those gaskets at my oringacademy.com or you can go directly to sterilizerdoorgasket.com. So I appreciate you coming today and I hope that those are helpful tips. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks. Bye now.